Now finishing that won't be too much different. I'm actually going to grab this toolpath, hold down my right mouse button, slide my mouse down a little bit and drop it and say copy. We'll go into the properties for that. For our toolpath type, we're going to pick a finishing toolpath and we're just going to do a scallop for this. For my tool, we'll switch back to that ball end mill and I'll just say 3D surface machine scallop the cavity and then we'll take a look at our cut parameters so we've got a one-way cut uh, I'm gonna change this to a 50,000 step over which of course adjusts my scallop height now we could tell it to cut from the inside out but since we're going into a cavity I prefer to cut from the outside in for my stock to leave I'm gonna set that to zero and for my tool containment I want it to be to the center of the tool so I want the center of the tool to go to that absolute edge of the containment boundary and that should be all we need so we're gonna OK that and now we can hit regenerate 